Okay, so in this video we're going to explore the idea of Hamiltonian paths and circuits. And um, there's two key ideas in uh, both Hamiltonian paths and circuits. Uh, we want to keep in mind that we're talking about simple paths and circuits. Uh, by definition, a Hamiltonian path or Hamiltonian circuit um, is required to be a simple path or circuit. So we know that means no repeated edges. And to be Hamiltonian, uh, by definition, we're going to include every vertex exactly once. Now, when we talk about a Hamiltonian circuit, it is allowed that you repeat your starting vertex, right? Because for a circuit, uh, you end up back where you started. But otherwise, we only want to hit every vertex exactly once. So, it's kind of interesting that um, this idea is a little bit more difficult than that of a, an Euler path or circuit. We had some some rules um, and some theorems that would tell us whether or not an Euler path or circuit existed. Uh, there isn't really any known way to determine if there is a Hamiltonian path or circuit. There is some theory out there, but it's complex and there isn't any straightforward method for really determining these things. So, so for our purposes it is kind of just um, we're just going to kind of see if we can do it. Our, our graphs won't be very complicated and if there is a Hamiltonian path we'll be able uh, Hamiltonian path or circuit then we'll be able to find it. So, so you kind of just start off on your your journey um, if you want to find a Hamiltonian path it's just a path that is simple and includes every vertex exactly once. So you kind of just start off and so I'm going to go from A to B, uh, maybe to D, and to C, and then to E. So that would be an example of a Hamiltonian path. A, B, where did we go? D, C, E. That's an example of a Hamiltonian path. So, of course, you can see all you'd have to do is go from E to A to make that a circuit, right? So it was a simple path, um, no repeated edges, and included every vertex exactly once. Let's just go off on another route and see if we can find a, a different Hamiltonian circuit. So you go from A to E, E to C, C to D. D to B and then B back to A. So what would that be? A, E, C, D, B, A. Right. So okay to repeat that first vertex since it's a circuit. So we didn't repeat any um, edges and we used every vertex exactly once. So those are the ideas of Hamiltonian paths and circuits. Um, let's take a look at another graph. Um, this is a graph where we wouldn't be able to find a Hamiltonian. Um, we wouldn't be able to find, now let's see, we, we might be able to find a Hamiltonian path. Let's try it. Let's try it and see what we come up with. Um, can we get a Hamiltonian path? We could go from A to B. B to E, E to C, and C to D. So that would be an example of a Hamiltonian path. But let's try a Hamiltonian circuit. You can see, you can see that if I, I begin the same way in the red, and I try to make this a circuit, I'm going to have to repeat an edge, right? Because I'm going to come over to B, and then I'm going to have to go back to A, which will repeat this edge. So is there some other way we could go? Um, let's see. Maybe if I go from A to C, and then let's try something different. C to D, D to B, uh, B to E, and then E to C. Well, again, to get back to A, I've got to repeat this edge. I've got to repeat this edge. And so this is an example of a graph where there is no Hamiltonian there is no Hamiltonian circuit
Right, and again, there isn't a straightforward way to determine whether there is or there isn't, other than to, for our purposes, uh, just kind of taking off and trying it. And since there's only five vertices here, we can relatively quickly see that there's not going to be any way to find a Hamiltonian circuit. So, um, again, I think that uh, is a relatively simple idea, and hopefully that was enlightening as to what uh, Hamiltonian paths and circuits are.